he was like, why were you smiling so much? That's when he pretty much started smashing my head into the steering wheel. Something just snapped to me to try to get out as quick as I can. So I left after the first abuse. I met my ex-boyfriend through some mutual friends since it was my first official relationship. I didn't know what love bombing was. At first it felt really nice to experience that, but then it started feeling a little more suffocating and not as nice. We took a little road trip to go to one of his friend's engagement parties. It was my first time meeting his friends. Everything was good. He was drinking a little bit more than usual, but nothing that I felt out of the ordinary. But once the party was over, I was like, I'll drive us back to his grandfather's house. He was like, I'm so happy you came. All my friends had such a good time with you. But why were you smiling so much? That's when he pretty much started smashing my head into the steering wheel. And I got really nervous and scared. And I was like, let me run inside when I opened the door he caught up with me so he started smashing my head against the back door i ran inside screaming he started punching my face and then my stomach he kicked my mouth at first i was just like what is going on am i dreaming let me get up but my body just wasn't moving his grandfather came downstairs just saying stop stop like what did she do we're gonna kill her so he turned around to yell back at his grandfather something just snapped to me to try to get out as quick as i can and into my car drove down the block i did know someone who lived upstate so i decided to call them this person helped me and i had a safe place to sleep that night so the next day when i went back to get my stuff when i walked in there was just pretty much blood everywhere. I saw him, I was like, I literally have 911 on speed dial. Don't come near me. He was just apologizing a lot. I couldn't believe this was the same person that did it, but I looked in the mirror and I saw what I looked like. I just knew I had to leave right away. Once I got back, that's where I went to the hospital. So I pretty much just wanted to check for any broken bones. Thank thankfully there weren't any. I went to family court to file a restraining order. The judge granted me the maximum, which unfortunately is only two years. I did take it as a win because I just didn't want anything to do with him. I think it's so important that women leave the first time something like this happens because it takes a lot of healing and being with the person who caused that pain and was able to do that, it's kind of impossible to heal while you're in the same environment that kind of broke you. I think it's important that the more of us speak up, I would just want to look him in the eye and just ask why. I never deserved any of that, especially for smiling too much. I would tell him, like, you putting me through that just makes me smile and laugh 20 times louder and wider. I have seen Are You? 